Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Savrant Rocket 4 Plus 2 terabyte NVMe drive. Now, of course, this is an M.2 Gen 4 PCI Express uh, SSD. Roughly 400 US dollars is the retail asking price. This was sent over for review purposes. And the reason I have the Gigabyte Aero 15 here is that for those of you that don't know about my current coverage of this laptop, I believe this is one of the few on the market that actually supports uh, fourth generation drives like this one. So the read and write speed on this should be somewhere around 7,000 or at least nearly 7,000 on the read uh, and over 5,000 on the right. And that is simply insane, if you didn't know that. Uh, average drives right now, uh, Gen 3, you know, you sit somewhere between roughly 1,500 to topping out uh, at a little over 3,000. So basically almost doubling the performance, almost, of current NVMe drives on the market. Uh, so even if you aren't uh, or you do not have a build like this or a desktop that supports uh, a Gen 4 drive like this, it's still not a bad idea to pick one up. And I say that because from what I've read, the performance on this even in Gen 3, which is what most of us presently have, still will give you best-in-class performance. Uh, the only other drive with similar performance is the Samsung 980 Pro. And uh, Sabrent, at least in my experience, all of the products I've covered from them, quality, uh, you know, top to bottom. This has a five-year uh, warranty. I believe it's rated for 350 terabytes because for those of you unaware that, you know, all of these NVMe drives have a lifespan, at least a rated lifespan of how many times data can actually, you know, be transferred uh, over its capability to continue to function. Um, and I believe this one is 350 uh, terabytes. So uh, 350,000 is what I meant to mean in terms of cycles. Uh, but at any rate, it's part of purchasing NVMe storage in any capacity. Now the drive that's in here uh, that comes stock is a 512 gigabyte drive. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. You know, the rewrite on Crystal Disk, I think, was very average, around 2,000 uh, on the read and write. So it makes sense to upgrade this. A lot of other machines do hover around the speeds close to what this will yield without being Gen 4. So in my opinion, it's a good investment to get one of these if you have a compatible system. Uh, but again, even if you're at Gen 3 and you think you're going to upgrade down the road, why not do some future proofing? Now, the reason I've got this bad boy out here is that if you miss the unboxing of this device from Sabrent, it basically can act as an external uh, dual uh, enclosure for NVMe drives just like this. Uh, but the beauty is that it will also, more importantly and pertinent to this unboxing, give me the ability to clone uh, the drive from the Aero that I already have you know, quite a bit of uh, software installed on. Again, if you've been following my coverage, you know I've been putting this through uh, tests. This is going to be a system for me personally. I purchased this. This is not uh, you know, a review unit. So I'll be able to clone this independent of using a PC. So once I remove the drive, it should be as simple as taking out that NVMe drive, throwing it in here, throwing this in here, cloning it, and then dropping it back into the arrow. So hopefully that's as smooth as it will be. Um, I've already tested this, so I know it works. Uh, I'll include links in the description for both uh, the cloning uh, device that Savrant uh, has, as well as, of course, the four terabyte uh, Rocket 4 Plus. Again, I hope that it works here. Uh, regardless, I know it's going to deliver some best in class performance, even if what I've read about the Aero supporting Gen 4 isn't accurate. But the good news is all of you will find out one way or another uh, in my next update about the Aero. Any questions or comments, again, about the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus? Uh, by the way, it does come in a one terabyte capacity as well and a four terabyte capacity. 
uh, is slated to release or be released soon. But any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.